This is day seven, and we're winding down the School of the Spirit TV epic sale. Seventy percent off everything, priced down. It's marked down. No coupon required. Check it out. Spiritual warfare classes, prayer classes, uh, discerning the rim that's on there, uh, the love challenges on there. There's so many of my most popular courses, the making of a watchman. So many of my most popular courses are on there and they will not appear on our brand new platform. You can love our platform and you get to keep the classes forever if you grab them now. But once they're gone, they are gone. School of the Spirit TV, 70% off. It's marked down already. These classes were three, four, five, six, seven hundred. Some of them were a thousand dollars. They're now twenty nine, thirty nine, forty nine, fifty nine, sixty nine, seventy nine. I think a couple are a one twenty nine. That's the most you'll find. It's over there. Get it now because it's gone for good. Nocturnal warfare, deliverance from family wounds. Guys, I'm not gonna keep reminding you. You got to stop procrastinating and get over there and grab these things. If you had been on my mailing list, you would have gotten an extra 10% off. So make sure in the future you're there. All the courses yours to keep. This is it. We're winding down school of the spirit dot TV. And I've got a special surprise for all of my school students. So you're getting the courses. These are schools. And uh, you're getting the courses and these are schools I'm talking about. You got to get on the wait list for the school. Get on the wait list because there's a special, wonderful, crazy, wild bonus that I'm going to do for you every month when you sign up for the schools. When they open enrollment, listen to this twice. I know there's a lot going on. Grab hold of it. School of the Spirit TV. Are those old enemies coming back to haunt you? Let me just put it a little more plainly. The enemies that you don't completely defeat in your life will come back to haunt you. It's just a biblical principle, and we cannot ignore it. We cannot wish it away. The enemies that you do not defeat in this season will become the enemies that circle back around in the next season. And sometimes When they circle back around, they circle back around with a vengeance. Sometimes these old enemies, when they circle back around, they circle back around with a few friends. They don't just come alone. They bring seven others more wicked than themselves. So let me ask you once again, have you annihilated the enemy that plagued your heart? in the last season? Have you overcome completely? Have you put these demon powers under your feet? What am I talking about? Well, what about depression? Did you conquer that? Did you replace it with the joy of the Lord? What about grief? When you lost that person, when you lost that job, when you lost that thing that you held dear to your heart, did you go through a grieving process or did you stuff it under the carpet of your soul. It will come back to haunt you. What enemy are you facing now that you hoped you would never face again, but because you did not defeat it, you did not deal with it, you did not try as hard as you might in the strength of the Lord to overcome it, here it comes, opportune time in your life again, Stealing once again, killing once again, destroying once again. I'm telling you, we need to be a people who have discernment to know when we have gotten the breakthrough. Because just because the enemy backs up for a minute and things seem calm, things seem fine, does not mean for a moment that that enemy is truly defeated. That's where so many Christians miss it. You were depressed, but now you're having a good week, a good month, a good few months. But did you defeat that depression? Did you defeat that spirit? Did you defeat that spirit of lack? Did you defeat that spirit of poverty? Did you really overcome that generational curse? Or did the symptoms just go into remission for a season to the point that you think you won, but it's still hiding in the shadows, waiting to come back and whack you between the eyes once again. And that's a blind side that doesn't have to be a blind side. We allow the blind side when we don't deal with our enemies thoroughly and completely. 
This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. Guys, good morning. Come on in. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Come on in and let me know where you're coming in from. What city, what nation? I'd like to know. Get ready because we're going somewhere today. I had a disturbing revelation this morning, which I'm not going to share because I have not fully unpacked it, but I spent most of my prayer time this morning just saying, my Lord, my Lord. I was in shock at one of the strategies of the enemy through the family line, through parents, through those who are closest to you. And I'm not going to share that today, but I'm just putting that in your uh, mindset because there are things that we don't know. We don't know what we don't know. And when we get that aha moment, when we begin to understand, oh my goodness, we are positioned to overcome old enemies, enemies we didn't even know existed. So come on in guys. Good morning, Montgomery, Alabama, Lantana, Florida. God bless you. Good morning, Raleigh, North Carolina. Hallelujah. Hello, 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 Carol. God bless you. Come on in guys. Share this quickly. Share it on your timelines. Share it via messenger. Share it via Twitter. Share it somewhere quickly. Tag somebody. Do whatever you got to do to get some people in because some people, you think it's a new devil because you're at a new level, but it's really an old enemy that has become a frenemy because you just don't want to fully deal with it. You don't see it as the danger that it is. Uh oh, you don't see it as the danger that it is. It's your frenemy. Maybe it's a demon that comforts you. You, it's a false Holy spirit. Maybe it's an addiction that you run to every time you get stressed out. I'm not sure, but these enemies, when they're frenemies, they're especially deceptive and they come back around. Jesus help us today. Guys, share this quickly. Hello, Deerfield, Florida. God bless you. 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 Come on in. We're going to start the official broadcast in just a couple of minutes. Quite literally, we're going to do our roll in. Guys, these become archives over there at uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. Please go over there and subscribe. It's really important that you subscribe to that channel. That's where I put out my long form content. You won't find most of that anywhere else. So please, please, please help me out and go subscribe jenniferleclair.org. I'm sorry, youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. And that'll help me produce more content for you. Amen. We're going to read today from more uh, from evenings with the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Kimberly in Georgia. Good morning, Phyllis. Good morning, May. God bless you. We're going to read from mornings, uh, evenings with the Holy Spirit, rather listening daily to the still small voice of God in just a couple of moments. And these are prophetic words. The Holy Spirit spoke to my heart. They're going to minister to you. It's going to help you. It's going to open your eyes. You're going to see some new things. God's going to encourage you today. He's going to inspire you. Some things are going to fall away. You're going to pick up some revelation. God is good. Just remember that he is good. He's good all the time, all the time. He's good. So get ready. Begin to pray in the spirit. Hello, Barbados. Waiting for that prayer hub in Barbados, awakeningprayerhubs.com. We're in 74 nations. Count them, 74 nations. Awakening prayer hubs. We are praying, pressing in for revival and awakening in the nations of the earth. Your city, your nation needs a prayer hub. We need more than one prayer hub in a city. We need more than one prayer hub in a nation. Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, Lou Ingle, uh, Dick Eastman, many others are standing with us us as we contend for a, for a great awakening in the nations. Souls saved, churches revived, nations awakened. Amen. And discipled. So check that out, awakeningprayerhubs.com. Join the movement. We're in 74 nations. I would never have thought it. It's beyond my wildest expectations, but that just goes to show you it's a sovereign move and God will do what he wants to do, even through imperfect people. He'll do what he wants to do through me and what he wants to do through you. If we just have a heart toward him, if we'll just keep getting back up, if we'll just keep pressing through the opposition, if we'll just do the best we can, he'll meet us in our insufficiency efficiencies and he will take it over the over the top. He will go, he will bring us to places that we've never even imagined. Amen. So get ready guys, check it out, join a hub, a launch a hub, sponsor a hub at awakeningprayerhubs.com. God is good. After we read the devotional, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we're just going to see where God takes us. We're going to see what he says, what he does. We never know what's going to happen. We never know what we're going to pray. There's no theme in that first segment. It's just pure Holy Spirit led prayer as much as I can press in. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see where he takes us. And then in that uh, next segment, we're going to pray through these uh, old enemies. 
And that's going to be quite an eye opener for some of you. You know, if you'll get, if you'll sit with the Lord and wait on him and ask him questions and just sit and wait for, he'll answer you. He might not answer you immediately, but he will answer you maybe in the shower while you're driving to work or, you know, and uh, he will answer. He will give you wisdom. He will. He really will. He's a good father. Amen. So let's begin to ask him today for what we haven't seen so we can get past it. Amen. It's time to start. If you've shared, say, I'm ready. If you've not shared, you're not ready. Oh, geez. Yeah, you're not. You guys aren't sharing today. There's yeah, I need 430 of you to share this as fast as you can so we can start the broadcast. Go ahead and share it and uh, we'll get started here. I'm going to bring in these other uh, these other platforms and we're going to begin to pray. Amen. Remember, Awakening House of Prayer, we're starting our new series on Redigging the Wells of Revival starting Sunday. That's free to watch. You can go register at ahop.online. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes or no? Are you ready? Yes or no? Let's get started. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. This is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the still, small voice of God. I just want to prophesy to you something good is going to happen to you today. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Awakening Prayer Hubs. Join the movement. We are contending for souls saved, churches revived, and nations awakened. We're in 74 nations currently, and we want to go deeper. We want to go further. We want to equip you to press in so you can see those eternal rewards that go to the intercessors. Check it out. Join a hub, and I'll equip you I'm sorry, launch a hub and I'll equip you. Join a hub and you can uh, pray with others. Sponsor a hub. We have sponsors. We have people waiting for sponsorships all over the world. Awakeningprayerhubs.com. Join the movement. We're in a Kairos moment. We're in a Kairos moment of revival and we want to see a Kairos season. So we need to pray more. We don't stop praying because we're seeing blips and starts of revival. We keep praying and we cooperate with the grace of God. Amen. To see transforming revival in the nations. Check that out, guys. Guys, I'm coming to you live from South Florida. Our church, Awakening House of Prayer, is here. And I'm there on Sundays preaching, praying, prophesying, and casting out devils. Our heart is to equip you to live a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle. Give me a year of your life and apply the word I'm teaching and watch the transformation. You've got three different opportunities every Sunday to come in experience God and get equipped. I'm teaching three separate messages every Sunday, 1047 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 4 p.m. Come on over, come plan a visit. People come from all over the world every week to join our services, and we're waiting on you. Amen. 1047, if you're not in the region, you can watch online. It's free to watch. You can register at ahop.online, A-H-O-P dot online. You can go deeper with us and become an official web church member. You'll get official. You'll get into the life group, the midweek uh, prophetic training, the uh, the virtual uh, prayer line, the virtual uh, online healing rooms, deliverance rooms, prophecy rooms. It's all virtual, but it's powerful. You also get te my teaching archives when you sign up over there at ahop.online slash webchurch. The second and third services are School of the Spirit at Ahop, School of the Spirit at Ahop. You're going to find we're going into the deeper things of God. We're in a series now on deliverance from family wounds, and we are seeing people get healed. Deliverance from family wounds. You're going to want to get in on that at schoolofthespirit.tv slash wounds. And then 4 p.m., we're starting a series on prophets on the seven mountains. How do prophets navigate those mountains? What warfare do we face on those mountains? How do we stand in those mountains? What mountain are you called to? School of the Spirit TV slash seven mountains, the number seven mountains. Check that out. You'll be glad that you did. Amen. Today's uh, devotion comes from Evenings with the Holy Spirit. Pressing in daily, listening daily to the still small voice of God. And today's devotion is titled, Shake It All Off. Oh, I like this. Shake it all off. Amen. Not some of it, not most of it. Shake it all off. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Shake off the fear. Shake off the weariness. 
Shake off the worry. Shake off the disappointment. Shake off the discontent. Shake off the discouragement. Shake off the doubts. Shake off the dread. Shake off every negative thought and come up higher. Now, says the Lord, is the time to hope and trust in your God. Rise up in Christ, says the Lord. Set your face like flint and determine in your heart to do everything you're called to do. It's no accident you're alive in this hour, says the Lord. It's no accident. Come on, you got to start shaking some of these things off. Some of you wonder why you don't get the promotion. It's because you got to shake some things off. Some of you wonder why you don't seem to be growing spiritually like your friends are, even though you're in the word of God. It's because you got to shake some things off. Some of you wonder why in certain seasons you feel certain ways and you don't know how to stop it. It's because it's an old enemy and you need to shake it off. Come on, what do you need to shake off? Scripture references are in the devotional. Pick up your copy of Evenings with the Holy Spirit on my website at jenniferleclair.org or wherever you find books online. Now the prayer starter. I choose this day to shake it all off. Come on. I will no longer carry what is contrary to your heart, O Lord. Give me the strength to shake off the ties that bind and the weights that hinder me as I run this race. Help me stay determined to press into my calling. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we praise you today because you are the all-consuming fire that sets us free from everything that hinders love. We praise you today because you are the all sufficient God and you make us sufficient in Christ. We like nothing in him. We are partakers of the divine nature. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. You have set us up for success. You have loved us into the kingdom. You drew us by your Holy Spirit. You translated us out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of your dear son, your only begotten son, your preeminent son, your glorious son. We thank you, Lord, for what you did, for the work of the cross, for the blood that was shed at Calvary to make a way out of no way. We were lost, dead in our trespasses, but you came to our rescue and you'll keep coming to our rescue. You are the God of our rescue. So we exalt you in our lives. We exalt you in our families. We exalt you in our workplaces. We exalt you over every challenge over every obstacle. You are the most high God and we praise your holy name. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us today for any way in which we've grieved your heart, for any way in which we have neglected your spirit, for any way in which we have chosen to follow some other God, some other pursuit, some other fill in the blank God. We want to follow you fully, wholeheartedly. We want to follow you absolutely in deep surrender. We want to follow you with full abandonment, abiding in you every moment of our day, practicing the presence of God. Would you help us to get to that place in your heart that we so long to arrive at God? Would you help us? Would you help us? Would you help us, Lord? Holy helper, would you help us? You are a magnanimous God. You're a generous God. You are on our side. And if God be for us, then who can be against us? But Lord, there's an enemy of our soul, our adversary, the devil, and he roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. He tries to disturb our peace. He tries to jolt us. He tries to rattle us. He tries to rock us. He tries to shudder us. Help us, Lord, to see where we have common ground with him so that we can shut the door, so that we can slam that door door shut in his face, stripping him of every legal right that he has and every right that he thinks he has. Help us to know who we are in Christ so that we don't fall for the wiles of the enemy. Help us, help us, help us not to be ignorant of the devil's devices, but to understand how he moves and how to resist him in submission.
revelation to you in the name of Jesus. God, I know that the enemy finds access because of some of the things that we carry, because of some of the things we won't let go of, because some of the things that we won't shake off. God, we need to see the things, the residue, the dust, the dirt, the sand that is clung to our souls so that we can choose to shake it off. We don't just want to shake it off. We just don't want to shake the dust off our feet. We want to shake the dust off our emotions, God. We don't want to just shake the dust off our feet. We want to shake the dust off our will. We don't want to be emotional wrecks. We want to be stable. We don't want to be insecure because of the dust of the demons that attacked us in the last season. We want to be solid. We want to be steady. We don't want to just shake the dust off our feet. We want to shake the dust off our emotions. We we want to be steady. We want to be stable. We want to walk in joy and peace and love. We want to exalt you in our emotions. Lord, help us to shake the dust off our will. We don't want to be double-minded. Oh, Jesus. We don't want to waver between two opinions. Oh, Jesus. We don't want to say yes and then not follow through. We don't want to say no when we should say yes. God, help us to shake the dust off our will. The demon powers from hell try to attack our will. They try to bend our will. They try to keep us out of your will. That dust, sometimes we can't see what your will is because of the dust. It gets in our eyes because of the dust. It gets in our ears. We want to know what your will is for our lives, oh God. We want your good will. We want your acceptable will. We want your perfect will. We want to walk in your will. We want to walk in your ways. We want to walk in your presence for all of our days. And we need this dust. We need this dust off our will. So dust off our will, guys. God, dust off our eyes so we can see you. Help us to shake the dust off our eyes. We don't want to see through a glass darkly when we are trying to show us something plainly. We know that sometimes we see through a glass darkly, but there's times when you're trying trying to show us things plainly. You're trying to give us an aha moment, but we can't see it. You asked Jeremiah, what do you see? He said, I see a budding almond tree. Jeremiah was able to see. He was able to see. He didn't have dust in his eyes. He was able to see. You had, you gave him a clear vision. God, we need a clear vision. We want to see what you're doing. Jesus only did what he saw the father do. We want to see what you're doing. We want to see what the enemy's doing. Doing, but he's kicked up dust in our eyes. The dust, the dust. We need to shake it off so we can see the, the snake in the garden. We need to shake it off so we can understand what your will is. We need to shake it off. Help us to shake off that debt, that dust called heartbreak. Help us to shake off that dust called perversion. Help us to shake off that dust called anxiety. God, we need to shake it off. We need to shake it off. We need to shake it off. We need to shake it off completely. We don't want any residue of dust in our eyes. Lord, help us to shake the dust out of our ears. God, we want to hear you accurately. Samuel had an accurate mouth because he had an accurate ear. Lord, we need to hear you. We want to hear your still small voice. So help us to shake the dust out of our ears all the times that we didn't guard our ear gates. We didn't guard our eye gates. And now there's dust in our eyes and dust in our ears. And we can't see you rightly. We see you through the lens of religion or we see you through the lens of pain, or we see you through the lens of shame. We shake those things off now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to see you rightly. We want to hear you rightly. We want to live by every word that comes out of your mouth. Oh God, we need you. We need you. So help us to shake the dust off, the dust that we can see and the dust that we cannot see. We don't want to be dull of hearing. We don't want our vision to be dim. We want to shake the dust off every single particle. Help us to shake it off, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to shake it off, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to shake free, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to shake it, to, 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 to release ourselves from it in the name of Jesus. We want to tremble at your word, not tremble at the enemy. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to shake the dust off of our reasonings. Lord, we don't think right sometimes. We, there's a way that seems right in our minds, but it's not always right for our lives. 
lives. There's a way that seems right to a man, to a woman, but in the end, it's destruction. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help us to shake off the dust off our reasoning. We reason ourselves into confusion. We try to figure it out on ourselves instead of acknowledging you in all of our ways so that we can find direction that we need so that we can find the wisdom that we need. Help us to shake the dust off our reasoning, to stop continuing to, to just do it in our own will, in our own ways in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. Deliver us from the demonic dust in the name of Jesus. Deliver us, Lord, from the demonic residue in the name of Jesus. We shake off the disappointment in the name of Jesus. We shake off the depression in the name of Jesus. We shake off the disillusionment in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to shake the dust off. Help us to shake the dust off our mind. We're believing lies that demonic dust has infiltrated our soul. Help us, Lord, to shake the dust off our minds. Or we need to renew our minds. We're believing lies, lies, the dust of lies. Help us, Lord. We want to, we want to, we want to believe the truth and know the truth and walk in the truth that sets us free. You tell us in your word that that, 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 that we should walk in the truth, that the truth makes us free. So help us, Lord. You are the truth. Encounter our minds with your word. Drop truth bombs on our soul, God. We need our mind to be right. We need to gird up the loins of our minds. We need to, we don't want to be out of our mind. We don't want to be out of sorts. Help us, Lord, to shake the dust off our mind. Help us, Lord, to shake the dust off our mind, the lies. Help us, Lord, to shake the grief off. Help us, Lord, to shake off the worry. Help us, Lord, to shake off the discontent. Help us, Lord. All of our fountains are in you. When we look at you, the dust falls away. When we meditate on your word, the dust falls away. When we gaze upon your beauty, the dust falls away. Help us to shake off the dust, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us. Help us to shake the dust off our imaginations. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help us to shake the dust off. The enemy has launched fiery darts at our soul. The enemy has launched uh, vain imaginations at our mind, telling us who we're not instead of who we are, telling us what we can't do instead of what you want to do for us, telling us that we'll never make it, telling us that we're not good enough, telling us all sorts of lies, trying to morph our personality, trying to ding our identity in Christ. Would you help us, Lord, today in the name of Jesus to shake the dust off our imaginations? We want to see ourselves rightly. We want to see ourselves healed. We want to see ourselves whole. We want to see ourselves prosperous. We want to see ourselves ready. We want to see ourselves able. We want to see ourselves in Christ. But we need your help, God. Help us to shake the dust off. Help us to get mad at the devil and shake off the dust. The residue, the dirt, the grime. Help us to shake off that sand, that soil, that should, that, that soot. Help us, Lord. You said you'd give us beauty for ashes. You thank, we thank you, Lord, that you give us beauty for ashes. Help us to shake off the cinders, the filth, the flakes, the fragments, the granules, the grit. Help us, Lord, to shake these things off, to shake off the losses, to shake off the disappointments, to shake off the discouragement to shake off everything that hinders love. Would you help us, Lord, today to shake it off and scatter it, God, in the name of Jesus. Shake off the, the, the demonic thought, God, in the name of Jesus. Would you help us today? Would you help us today to shake the dust off our intellect, to become thinkers again, to become critical thinkers again, to sit and think about you, to think about your word, to meditate on your word day and night so that we can be prosperous and find good success. Would you help us, Lord, to shake the dust off our intellect, to crack open a book, to learn a new thing, to learn something different in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. 
We thank you, Lord. We're shaking the dust off our mind. We're shaking the dust off our eyes. We're shaking the dust off our hands. We're shaking the dust off our feet. We're shaking off the dust of discouragement. We're shaking off the dust of of addiction. We're shaking off the, the, the dust of competition. We're shaking off the dust of betrayal. We're shaking off the dust of hurts. We're shaking off the dust of wounds. We're shaking off the dust of Judas. We're shaking off the dust of Jezebel. We're shaking off the dust of Ahab. We're shaking off the dust of, oh Jesus, of the past, the past, the past, the past. We're shaking off the dust of the past. We're shaking it off and we're coming up higher. So Lord, you are the great shaker. Shake the dust off us, God. If we can't see it, we're giving you uh, the, the, the green light, God. Do what you have to do to get this dust off of us. The dust of the past trial, the d- dust of the past temptation, the dust of the past uh, trauma, the dust of the past. It's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Clean sweep, Lord. Somebody share this quickly. We're going to go forth. We're not done praying yet. I need you all to share this with somebody immediately. We're going to now pray uh, to overcome old enemies. I need 850 of you to share this right now, please. Jesus, you feel better now? Come on, I need 885 of you to share this right now. Share it on your timeline. Share it via Twitter. Share it with somebody. Share it with anybody. Do what you got to do. Let's get it out here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Some of you have mistakenly subscribed to the concept of new level, new devil. When it's really new level, old devil. Now, the concept of new level, new devil is true. You can go to a new level and there's a new devil. It's not a new devil. The devil can't recreate himself, but it's a new devil to you. So you go on a new level, you face a devil you've never faced before. That's a new devil. But some of you, that's not actually what it is. Some of you, that's not really what's happening. Some of you, it's new level, old devil. Or by contrast, some of you, the old devil is keeping you from the new level. So there's two sides of this. Some of you, God promotes you. Here comes that old enemy trying to steal the promotion. You get healed. Here comes that old enemy called infirmity. You, you, you know, you, you, you get to a new level and here comes that same old thing that knocks you back every time. Or some of you, you can't get to that holy hill. You can't get the promotion at work because that old enemy keeps coming forth. The depression, the anxiety, these old enemies that come to steal, kill, and destroy. Either way, we, it's time for us to deal with these old enemies. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you are good. You see everything. You are the God who's never lost a battle. So we put our trust in you today and we ask you to forgive us for tolerating old devils. Forgive us for not discerning that it's the same old devil that's plagued us since childhood. The same old devil that attacks us every time we're just about to break through. The same old devil that keeps infiltrating our relationships. It's the same old devil. It's the same old devil. It's the same old assignment. Would you help us, Lord, to see? See it clearly, because just like in the book of Ruth, Haman was an Amalekite and the Amalekites were left alive by Saul hundreds of years earlier. And that old enemy that Saul did not destroy came back to try to destroy all the Jews hundreds of years later in the book of Ruth. So these old enemies are no joke. These old enemies are nothing to laugh about. These old enemies must not be ignored. So forgive us for not discerning the strategy of the wicked one to hold us into bondage to past seasons by old enemy attacks surfacing in the current season. 
in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, and cleanse us from our apathy in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us from our complaining about the warfare in the name of Jesus. We know the adversary is raging. We know he comes at an opportune time. We know he's an agent of destruction. And Father, you have given us authority over every demon power. Our repentance has stripped him of his rights. An enemy exposed is an enemy defeated, but an enemy that's hidden cannot be forbidden. So Lord, we're asking you to expose every old enemy. Show us what we're dealing with. Help us to see it. We know you've tried to show us before, but our eyes were dim and our ears were dull. We were too busy to listen. Whatever the case, we're asking you in your mercy to show us once again the old enemy so that it doesn't have a chance to strike once again, so that it doesn't have a chance to creep in unawares once again, so that it doesn't have an opportunity to blindside us once again. It's like guerrilla warfare. These invaders, these intruders, they come at an opportune time. So expose them, God. Help us to see them, God. Help us to understand what we're dealing with, God, because you know, you know, all things and you want to share it with us. I know you do. You want us to walk in victory. Jesus died on a cross so we could be triumphant. So help us, Lord. You always lead us into triumph in Christ Jesus. So we take authority now over every old adversary that plagues our life. We take authority now in the name of Jesus over every agent of destruction in our life. We take authority now in the name of Jesus over every satanic antagonist in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every demonic attacker, over every uh, uh, destructive bandit, over every criminal spirit. We command you to bow in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against you, you nefarious foes. We command you to flee from our presence now in the name of Jesus every invader, every intruder, every interrupter. We put a cease and desist order upon you. No longer will you plague our life. No longer will you disrupt and disappoint. No longer will you get one up on us. No longer because you are under our feet. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you've given us authority. So we take authority over every murdering spirit, over every spirit that murders our reputation so that we don't get the promotion. Oh, over every opponent of our overwhelming success, over all the opposition, we cut you off at the knees. We push you back in the name of Jesus. We say, no, Moss devil, you have been exposed, and therefore you shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. We swing our sword. We swing our sword. We swing our sword and persecute the demons that have been persecuting us in the name of Jesus. No longer will we, will we tolerate rebellious spirits rival spirits, spying spirits, watcher spirits, monitoring spirits who come in, sneaking up into our midst to report back to demonic networks what we're doing and what we're about to do. We sever the communication lines of watcher spirits in the name of Jesus, and we command you to be disrupted. We cut off your lines in the name of Jesus. You terrorizing terrorist spirits that come in to traumatize us, to cause us pain, sorrow, and a horror in the name of Jesus. We break your assignment now, you old enemy. You will not prevail against us. We will not let you get away this time. We will stand and withstand in the evil day. The Lord is fighting for us. Angels are on assignment. You are outnumbered. There's more with us than there are with you. You traitor spirits, you betrayal spirits, you villainous spirits. We cast you down and cast you off and cast you out of our lives in the name of Jesus. Get far from us. Get behind us. Get under our feet in the name of Jesus. You assailing spirits, assassin spirits coming to kill, steal, and destroy. We annihilate you in the name of Jesus. We destroy your works in the name of the Lord. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You backbiting spirits, you gossiping spirits, you slandering spirits, you libelous spirits. We command you to be silenced. Shut your mouth now in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go far 
far from us. You contending spirits, defaming spirits, defiling spirits, depression spirits, anxiety spirits, let us go and leave us alone in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We give you praise and honor and glory because you are the king and you sit on the throne. You are our informer. You show us where every demon power is. We are revolutionaries in the spirit. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So these saboteurs, these self-sabotaging tempters, these sabotaging spirits, we sabotage you now in the name of Jesus. We evict you from our midst in the name of Jesus. Back up and back off, villainous spirits, our arch enemies, our adversary. Oh, Jesus, we command you to go. We say flee from us now seven ways in the name of Jesus. We will stand firm like Shama in the lentil field when the Philistines came to steal his harvest. We will not stand uh, we will not stand for your attacks, but we will stand against them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood. We put on our whole armor and we say we are ready for anything that comes our way. We've got a new vigor. We've got a new fervor. We've got a new determination and we will not be stopped this time. We will not be hindered. We will not be harassed. We will not succumb to the wiles of the wicked one, but we will stand against them. We will run to the battle line and cut off the head of every giant that opposes the will of God in our lives in the name of Jesus. And I praise you, Lord. I thank you because we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image, which means we are overcomers. We are kings and priests. We have authority delegated from Christ himself. And we say, thank you, Lord, that you've not left us as orphans, but you've equipped us for success. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us, that you'll never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Lord, that you are on our side. If God be for us, then who can be against us? Thank you, Lord, for the victory, the triumph, and the breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Jesus. Come on, that's some good praying today. Jesus. The Holy Spirit helped me. Thank you, Jesus. As I woke up feeling like I hadn't slept in a week, I said, Oh Lord. Maybe I should skip today's call. Then I realize the devil is a liar. I'm going to bust his head. Amen. I'm going to break his <laughs> break his assignment. Come on. God is good. Let that fire you up. Let that, let that put some pep in your step. Whatever you're going through. I know you're tired, some of you. I know you're weary. I know you're dealing with drama and trauma. Listen, we all have temptations. We all have traumas. We all have dramas. We, are, we, we will overcome. Amen. We will rise up higher. God's got you. He's, he sustains you. He's the lifter of your head and the lover of your soul. He loves you with the passion. Amen. He laid his life down for you. And what would he not more do for you? He already gave his blood. What more will he do for you? Amen. Pop, pop. Shake it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Some of you are cracking me up today. You having hot flashes there? Oh, Jesus. Help her, Lord. Some of you need to learn how to fight, man. You need to learn how to fight. You need to learn how to fight. Amen. That's why, listen, if you don't know how to fight, you're not going to have the success in life that God wants you to have. I'm not saying you won't have any success. I'm saying if you don't learn how to fight, you're not going to have the success that God wants you to have because the enemy is not just going to roll over and say, oh, here's that promotion. Here's that advancement. Here's that increase. He's going to fight you, man. That's why they call it the good fight of faith. Pop, pop, boom. That's it. That's why they call it the good fight of faith. You got to learn how to fight, man. You got to learn how to fight. One last reminder, you know, the Elijah company is coming right up and we're almost full. Make sure you get in on that. Apply today at globalpropheticcenter.com. But the School of the Spirit TV sale is ending. It's going to end. I'd hate for you to miss it. Once it ends, it's in, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. There's no amount of, you know, persuasion or prayer that's going to bring it back. So can't raise it from the dead. Once these old courses are gone, they'll be archived for those who purchase them to be able to watch on the new platform as many times as you want. But then it's gone, it's over, it's done. So please get what you want right now. There's so many cool courses over there. Discerning the Remnant is over there. Uh, you can even win 
uh, a copy of Activating Angels on Assignment when you enter over there at schoolofthespirit.tv. And just scroll down, you'll see the registration. So please, please, please grab hold of what you want now because once it's over, it's over. I want to pray for you before we go today. I want to pray for your health, your wealth, your protection, and so forth. We want to give you the opportunity to sow today. If this has blessed you, it's good to sow a seed every once in a while. If this is blessing you, we are a donor-driven ministry. You can sow, and Jesus said it's better to more blessed to give than to, than to sow than to give than to give than to receive. So take that over there. Take that concept. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. I'm going to pray for you here in just a second. You can use JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. Text the word give 754-701-2161. Text the word. Uh, give to 754-701-2161. Cash App is Prophetic Books. Cash App is Prophetic Books. The Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. The Zelle is info at Jennifer LeClaire. Zelle is info at Jennifer LeClaire. The, the uh, P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. You can use the Facebook stars, the YouTube stickers. And Father, how grateful we are that you are good. I lift up all those under the sound of my voice. I lift up all my Awakening Prayer Hubs leaders and their hubs, the Awakening House Church leaders, the Awakening House of Prayer leaders, in the name of Jesus. All the AHOP Thought Online watchers and Web Church members, God, I lift them up and all of their needs and as well as all my donors the givers the partners all of those who read my books watch my youtube videos all of my school of the spirit students as well as the ignite and company of seers my lighthouses lord and i say bless them indeed enlarge their territory let your hand of power rest upon them and keep them from evil and causing pain help them lord today to see themselves as they are lord open the eyes of their hearts help them see the blessings and the benefits of your kingdom them all around them so they can praise you all the more. Help them, Lord, to walk worthy of their calling, to walk in your will, to walk in love, to walk in the spirit. I plead the blood of Jesus over them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. And I decree and declare that they will rise up and fight off every demon power that's standing in the way between them and your will, O oh God. I thank you that you save souls and their families, heal bodies, deliver people from demons, and bring home the prodigals in the name of Jesus. Lord, prosper them and let them be in health, even as their soul prospers prospers and cause their soul to prosper. Deliver them from every hurt, every wound, all the pain. Lord, help them to see who they are and to walk uh, as children of God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you at awakeningprayers.com on the other side, globalpropheticcenter.com, schoolofthespirit.tv. Have a breakthrough day.